We've got some breaking news coming in. An explosion has been reported in Manhattan in New York. This is the big breaking news coming in at this hour. Reports of an explosion in New York City. NYPD responding to reports of an explosion in Manhattan. This is the big breaking story coming in at this hour. Reports of an explosion in New York City. The New York Police Department is responding to reports of an explosion in Manhattan. Joining me on the broadcast is Vyond's correspondent Archit Cheshadri. Good evening, Archit. What details do we have about this explosion as of now? Gwendo, you have breaking news coming in this hour. It is early morning in New York City this morning as many people are getting ready to go to work around 8 o'clock in the morning. Right now, the New York Police Department is uh, confirming that there was some type of explosion, but they're not confirming if whether or not this was an intentional act. It happened in the vicinity of 42nd and 8th, uh, a very uh, busy area this morning in the island of Manhattan. We understand that some of the underground trains lines, the A line, the C line, and the E lines at this point are now being evacuated evacuated as authorities are trying to piece together what exactly this was. Of course, New York, uh, a city that is used to terrorists, so any type of situation, authorities quickly jump into action to make sure uh, they don't take any chances. Uh, just a few uh, a few months ago, in fact, there was that situation where there was a terror incident uh, where a man ran down uh, the street near the financial district. Uh, so uh, right now, what we do know at this point is the New York Police Department are getting to the scene to investigate this explosion. Uh, we do know uh, right now that uh, uh, there is is some sort of evacuation taking place within the train systems on the A line, the C line, and the E line. It happened uh, a short while ago, around 8 o'clock in the morning. There's certainly a busy time in the morning in the vicinity of 42nd Avenue and 8th uh, in New York City. At this point, uh, no word on uh, what type of explosion this was, if this was deliberate, intentional, or if there were any other injuries involved. So uh, uh, those details still yet to be confirmed right now. Uh, uh, still a very ongoing situation in New York. York City. Uh, of course, uh, waiting to find out uh, more details as and when it comes in. Absolutely, Archit. And uh, the fact that uh, it must be a very crowded hour in uh, Manhattan at this point in time, uh, the details of this explosion are still trickling in, but uh, the damage could be intense. Absolutely, Raghavendra. You know, let me also pull up what New York Police Department is saying at this point, saying that they are responding to reports of some type of an explosion at 42nd Street and 8th Avenue in the island of Manhattan. Again, eva evacuating some of the train lines, the A line, the C line, and the E line. Uh, at this point, it is too early to tell whether or not this was intentional uh, or if this was a deliberate act. Of course, New York City has dealt with situations like this. It is Monday morning there, around 8 o'clock in the morning, so this is peak hour. A lot of traffic, a lot of commuters heading on those trains, getting into work. Uh, so this is a very busy time there after uh, uh, the weekend for many people heading into work and uh, getting out and about into the island of Manhattan. Again, right now, within the last 10 minutes, here's what we can tell you. The NYPD on the scene, finding out and trying to piece together uh, what caused this explosion. No word on a suspect or suspects, if there are any involved, if this was a deliberate attempt. Uh, of course, the United States has dealt with several situations in New York uh, when it comes to terror or terror-like situations. So authorities certainly uh, not taking any chances to uh, find out what caused this. They will be evaluating evaluating uh, CCTV footage to find out what happened and of course monitoring if there are any suspicious individuals uh, in connection to this explosion. Kenny. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, that's the latest that we have uh, right now, Raghavendra. Right, and these are live visuals we are getting from New York where an explosion has been reported in Manhattan. God, I'm losing the shot. So far, there have been no reports of any H4 injuries, open. but it is still a little premature. All right, there you go. As details about this explosion are still trickling in. Some reports have also been suggesting that a man with a possible second device has been detained in a subway tunnel. As per the information which is trickling in from New York, 
trains on the A, well, C, right now, and E see, lines lots of are being evacuated. Avenue and 42nd Street. Over toward the left-hand portion of your screen, that is Port Authority, the Port Authority building. You can see a mass exodus of people out of Port Authority, as I'm sure you can imagine. This time of the morning, especially in Port Authority. Archer, tell us a little about uh, these, uh, these uh, commuter trains, the A, C, and E lines, uh, where all these lines, uh, uh, you know, uh, are headed to, and uh, they must be very crowded at this point in time. Yeah, absolutely, Raghavan. There are many of the lines in New York City, in the island of Manhattan, connect the island uh, from many of the surrounding states. So, you know, this is Monday morning, uh, around 8 o'clock in the morning, a very busy time. So many commuters from New Jersey, Connecticut, and in and around the New York area typically come in and use those train lines. So uh, this is certainly a peak time for many of those commuters. Uh, we are also seeing reports on social media that the uh, uh, explosion happened at the Port uh, Authority bus terminal. So still some conflicting reports on whether or not this happened underground or above ground at that Port Authority area. Uh, so uh, we do know this happened at 42nd Avenue and 8th Street uh, in and around that area. That area is being evacuated. We also know that the A, the C, and the E lines are being uh, evacuated at this point. Uh, this could be because of a, of a few different reasons. One, there is damage to that area, or two, that police believe there are suspects or suspects in that area, and they need to clear out passengers to get them to safety so that in case there are possibly other explosions, they can send out a bomb squad unit to make sure that no other, uh, uh, no other loss of life or injuries are expected. Again, still too early to find out if, in fact, there are injuries. What we can tell you is an explosive device went off a short while ago within the last 10 to 15 minutes uh, within the 42nd Avenue and 8th Avenue area area in uh, uh, New York City, in the island of Manhattan. A very busy time Monday morning around 8 o'clock. Uh, the Port Authority bus terminal, uh, that is, uh, uh, the authorities are also evaluating that region. Uh, the NYPD also cordoning off that area. As we can see some of those uh, live images, there are heavy uh, first emergency responders uh, and vehicles. They're blocking off those streets. So, uh, of course, uh, authorities still trying to piece together what exactly caused this explosion. No word if it was a deliberate act or if it was an explosion one. And yes, uh, even even right now, it has not been uh, confirmed, uh, you know, as as uh, an explosion uh, using uh, uh, some kind of uh, improvised explosive device. Uh, even there is a doubt about the kind of explosion we have had, Archit. Word on what exactly this was. Was this perhaps uh, a, a device that just went off that caused some panic, or was this a planned device? Uh, sort of bringing in a perspective, when the Boston bombs, uh, the bombings took place during the marathon a few years ago, uh, those were pressure cooker bombs. So when there are situation like, situations like this, uh, uh, it could be a, a number of different things. But authorities also say you have to rely on what the authorities, what police agencies and investigators are reporting, and not to quickly uh, jump to any kind of situation, because uh, uh, this is how a lot of the false news and rumors spread on social media. Uh, so at this point, again, train lines evacuated, some sort of explosion in New York City early in the morning. Unclear if this was a deliberate act, but we do know it was in the vicinity of 42nd and 8th in the island of Manhattan. Uh, as you can see, a fleet, a barrage of first responders in and around that area. Uh, so uh, certainly uh, making for a very morning messy commute in the island of Manhattan there. Uh, uh, as authorities try to figure out, piece together what exactly caused those explosions and if there were suspect or suspects involved. Right now, uh, still no details on if there was an involved involved. Right. Uh, we are also joined on the broadcast by Vion's uh, America correspondent, Andy Roisjan. Uh, hi, Andy. What more details do you have on this explosion in Manhattan? Well, I'm afraid we're all just kind of watching this along with you as well here. You know, it's a very rainy day there. And uh, it's interesting, this, you know, if this really was a targeted explosion uh, towards a group of people, this is what they would call a soft target. Uh, this is the kind of thing that the, the Port Authority and uh, all the first responders in New York plan for quite a bit. Uh, this is the kind of thing that they've been training for for years and years and years, ever since 9-11. Uh, the big question is, you know, what is this, who is responsible, and what's the, the purpose of this if this was a targeted explosion? But uh, obviously we see uh, lots and lots of first responders out there. It's raining. It's not a very pleasant day. Again, it's uh, at 42nd uh, and 8th Avenue near the uh, New York City Port Authority bus terminal. Uh, the purpose of that, we don't know. Uh, but again, we're just waiting. And this is, like I said, the kind of thing that the 
authorities trained for. So at the very least, they are uh, well worse in, in responding to this sort of thing. Right. And Andy, a situation uh, like this would surely lead to a lot of barricading near the ground zero. And it must be putting uh, uh, locals through a lot of hassle in the morning itself. Yes, and, you know, they, they've evacuated the, the, the trains uh, there in the area, so that uh, is going to cause a horrible, tough day for the community. There's already been all kinds of trouble this past summer uh, in the train uh, system of, of New York, uh, so this is uh, a, another addition to that. But the, the big question is, you know, what's, what's the motive here? Uh, it was this terror. We had the terror attack. Uh, in uh, November, uh, the first few days, uh, actually the, the last day of October, October 31st, we had the uh, terror attack of the uh, Mr. Uh, Saipov, uh, Saipov, Saipov, who drove his truck at a, a sidewalk, a very targeted attack. Uh, he said in the spirit of ISIS, uh, although it was never determined whether really they didn't have much of a, a, a play in all this, that he really did it out of inspiration of ISIS. So this uh, comes on the heels of that, but we don't want really to get too far ahead of ourselves just yet. Uh, we don't know, again, the motivation behind this, but of course, in New York, uh, something like this will always uh, generate fears of terrorism. Absolutely. Uh, requesting you to stay with us on the broadcast, Andy. Archit, you've lived there. Uh, you've been in the United States for a long, long time. Uh, what kind of a response or, uh, you know, a situation like this uh, generates amongst the people, does it, does it lead, lead to a lot of panic? Usually situations like this, uh, Raghavendra, uh, unfortunately or fortunately, you know, people in the United States have dealt with situations like this time and time again. Of course, the Boston bombings, what happened in September 11, 9-11. Uh, so large cities, uh, large metropolitan cities, whether explosions or any kind of uh, uh, situations like this, uh, people do have an idea that uh, things could be uh, out of hand and uh, they quickly take cover, they quickly take shelter. And of course, now we live in an age of uh, social media, people whipping out their phones, recording what they can and running for cover. Uh, so authorities always say in situations like this, it is important to make sure that any information that is posted on Facebook, Twitter, any of these social media sites is, uh, uh, is good information, but at the same time that people shouldn't panic because you have to rely on what the authorities are responding to uh, when it comes to situations like this so that false information and rumors don't start spreading. Right now, the NYPD about 20 minutes ago has indicated there was an explosion. They've evacuated the train lines, the AC and E lines. But again, they haven't said this is any type of terror attack. They haven't said if this was caused by any kind of a deliberate uh, situation. Uh, some reports on social media say this could be a pipe bomb, but again, uh, those are just uh, reports coming in, nothing officially coming in. All that we know at this hour, there is some type of explosion, but uh, no word if this was deliberate or if this was accidental. But what we can certainly infer is this region in Midtown Manhattan, a busy area, uh, 42nd and 8th, uh, the island of Manhattan, as you can see the live visuals, a heavy police presence, lots of first responders. So those areas are probably going to be busy. So if that does take you through your commute, uh, those are going to be uh, people stuck in traffic for a while but uh, of course authorities uh, do have to uh, make sure that they have uh, vetted all sorts of situations before they can give the green signal uh, we don't know yet if there are suspect or suspects involved but certainly in the hours to come uh, those uh, details will be revealed the NYPD at this point only saying they are responding to a situation at the Port Authority uh, terminal. Uh, so no word if this is above ground or underground, but given the, uh, uh, the likelihood that this is a busy area in New York City, that is one of the reasons for the evacuations in New York City. But back to your question, Raghavendra, uh, certainly, uh, you know, Americans are certainly on edge. They've dealt with terror in the past. Uh, they see mass shootings, and they've unfortunately dealt with this time and time again. So whether we like it or not, they are in some sense prepared, but until it happens to you or you're there in the middle of it, it is always a different equation. But of course, uh, New York has dealt with this time and time again, so they're not certainly a, a surprise to any type of situations, which is certainly one of the region's authorities uh, are quickly acting to make sure this is not any type of coordinated attack. Right. We are also joined on the broadcast by Ray Locker. He's the national security editor for USA Today in Washington, D.C., Hello, Mr. Locker. What more can you tell us about this explosion? Uh, there, are, there are also reports that a suspect has already been taken into custody. Wow, you know, I mean, this is all happening so fast. I'm not really seeing much of anything. My, uh, you know, news organization, USA Today, has the very, you know, briefest of news alerts saying that it happened, um, you know, as Archibald was saying earlier, 
you have to be careful about uh, speculating when before you know anything. Right now, it's too early to tell. Any time there is a, an explosion like this, though, in a place that's heavily trafficked in a big U.S. city, um, your thoughts obviously go to terrorism. And then who will be behind it? Well, we've seen incidents like this in the past, so the list of usual suspects is pretty, uh, pretty short. But right now, it's too early to tell. We have to find out, you know, hey, maybe it was some kind of... Uh, you know, natural explosion, a gas leak or whatever. We just don't know it now. Well, absolutely, Mr. Locker, and it could be anything, and it would be very uh, premature to... Uh to say what, what really caused this explosion. But yes, the latest uh, update we are getting on this breaking story is that one suspect has been taken into custody. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, that probably means they minimized uh, the damage and were able to keep it confined to uh, you know a certain area without it being that big of a deal. Um, you know, may, perhaps the suspect was the one who planted the bomb, and if so, that's that's a good sign because usually if it's a suicide bomber, they go out with the bomb and take out a bunch of people with them. Indeed, and uh, requesting you to stay on with us, Mr. Locker, going back to my colleague, Archit Sheshadri. Archit, I believe you have some more updates. Yeah, Raghavinder, at this point, uh, we do know, as you pointed out, that a suspect is in custody. Multiple media outlets reporting this in the New York area uh, with regards to the explosion that took place within the last 30 minutes. Uh, the New York Police Department, the NYPD, says uh, it has responded to that explosion near the Times Square area. Certainly that attracts a lot of tourists. It is a busy area uh, on a Monday morning around 8 o'clock there in New York City. Uh, right now, no reports of injuries of sorts. Uh, passengers around the train station, though, have been evacuated as a precaution. Uh, this may lead to some delays in the subway lines. Uh, lines A, C, and E delayed at this point, evacuated. The explosion taking place near the Port Authority bus terminal on 42nd and 8th near Times Square again. Right now, police say one suspect is in custody. Again, no word on what type of explosion or explosive device this was. Uh, they're not releasing as identity just yet. But it seems like at this point, the situation is somewhat under control. But as you can see, those live images there, huge police presence, lots of first responders, firefighters, and ambulances uh, making for a very morning, uh, messy morning commute in New York City in the island of Manhattan. Right. And we are also getting reports of scenes where terrified tourists main bus station these are preliminary bits of information we are getting from new york amidst reports of an explosion that has happened in new york going back to my colleague andy rosjan who's joining us from the u.s Andy, uh, again, it's very premature to speculate right now, but uh, this could well be a terror strike. Well, it, it's hard to say, and, and sources are actually telling American media right now, and this is basically going on sources, we have not confirmed this, that this was a pipe bomb that went off uh, somewhat accidentally, that the person taken into custody uh, apparently had this pipe bomb with him. It went off before he got it to its intended target. Now, these, again, are sources coming in to American media here. Uh, what that all means, what his intention ultimately was, um, who he is being working a part of, if he's a lone wolf kind of guy, we don't know those answers yet. But preliminarily, that's what we're hearing here, is that he had a pipe bomb with him that went off, that went off prematurely, before it was supposed to. Uh, so a lot of questions to be answered. But if, if nothing else, this could be just a really good sign at least that maybe all this uh, did not happen, this explosion did not happen where it was intended to be, where it could have been much more deadly. Right. Those are very interesting details, Andy. Uh, going back to Mr. Ray Locker. Mr. Locker, as my colleague Andy Rosjan just pointed out, uh, sources saying that probably this was an explosive device which exploded in the middle of being transported from one place to another. What do you make of it, sir? Well, if that's the case, uh, that's a good break for everybody in New York. I mean, obviously you wonder if there's somebody with a pipe bomb, he or she is not 
you know, carrying that bomb to help anybody. So it was an intent, probably an intended terrorist attack somewhere, um, and it just turned out that uh, the bomb went, if this is all indeed accurate, the bomb went off early and probably spared a lot of people their lives. You know, pipe bombs are easy to make, but they're sometimes, you know, it's hard to make them where they're that effective. And it could be this is a situation which is bomb which just was not very well made and, um, you know, it didn't hurt that many people. If it went off accidentally and the guy was carrying it around and only a handful of people were injured, well, that's a good sign. Um, but now, now the question is, okay, if they have a suspect, let's find out who this person is. What are his or her associates? You know, let's, then you kind of unravel if there's a possible plot. And so we're going to, if this is indeed a pipe bomb and a possible terrorist attack, we're going to find out a lot more about this person and other associates in the next few hours. So this is a story that's going to keep developing. Absolutely, Mr. Locker. And going back to my colleague, Archit Cheshadri. Archit, as Andy just pointed out, uh, uh, these are crucial details. Uh, we already have a suspect in custody and now information that this particular explosive device, probably a pipe bomb, exploded while it was being transported from one place to the other. The case uh, seems to be moving really fast. Absolutely, Raghavendra. You know, in situations like this, authorities don't have a whole lot of time to uh, make sure that they are on the ground and thwart any type of attack. Uh, at this point, uh, we do know that a person was arrested, is in custody at this point. Uh, reports coming in that it was a pipe bomb. Again, the bigger question is, was this a lone wolf attacker? Was this perhaps linked to another organization, perhaps a terror outfit? Or was this just someone trying to create havoc during a busy Monday morning in the island of Manhattan? New York also to provide perspective, certainly at 8 o'clock in the morning is a bustling, busy time, so certainly any type of explosion will cause a lot of damage, it will cause a lot of panic, and if this individual was trying to do that, well, he certainly has succeeded when it comes to that. At this point, police are not releasing his name, the motive, or the details just yet, but what we do know is the subway lines in and around the Port Authority bus terminal near Times Square is evacuated as they respond to this. Live visuals are coming in, a huge presence of ambulance, fire trucks, and police officers there on the ground. So those areas in and around 42nd and 8th are certainly going to be busy to navigate along, as well as the train lines that run underneath that area in Times Square. The A line, the C line, and the E lines at this point evacuated. Police at this point also have no idea if this was, again, an individual attack or if there were multiple people involved. They will closely monitor and review the CCTV footage. But within the last 20 minutes, that's when the first message went out by the NYPD, the New York Police Department. And during this broadcast, they were able to already quickly take in a custody. So that certainly goes to show the quick response of the police officers in thwarting and dealing with the situation. Whether or not this will be called a terror attack is in the investigation stages. That will happen later on because they have to figure out, question the suspect, find out the motive, were there more people involved? Was this again perhaps a suicide situation that just accidentally did not happen? We don't know those details yet. But of course, uh, so far no reports of any injuries or casualties uh, at this hour, but certainly uh, investigators on the scene quickly jumping into action, uh, dealing with an explosion in New York City in the Times Square area. Indeed, Archit, and these are live visuals we are getting from Manhattan where an explosion has been reported. So far, there are no reports of any injuries. A suspect has been taken into custody and sources have been telling that this was probably a pipe bomb which exploded while it was being transported. Going back to my colleague Andy Rosjan, who's joining us from the U.S. Andy, these visuals are very indicative of the fact that the first responders to a situation like this, uh, I mean, they, they, they seem to be doing a good job. We see loads of ambulances, loads of police vehicles, which are dotting this entire area right now. And the fact that a person, a suspect, has already been taken into custody just goes on to show how a quick response to a situation like this can actually yield results. Yes, how incredibly sensitive uh, New York police are to these kinds of uh, potential 
uh, incidents. They are all over it. You know, it, it, it's funny. You can you can try to carry out a terrorist attack uh, in New York City because it's the most obvious target, but that is also the place where you're going to have a, a rain down upon you of instant reaction because these people are well trained in this kind of uh, uh, incident response. And, you know, I must say, in, in watching American media here and, and, and tracking what we've got, it sounds like. Knock on wood, and, and I don't mean to be too premature, that there are no reports of any injuries uh, coming out of this. And, and that could be the very best thing of all. Uh, we're not seeing any ambulances leave the scene. We're not hearing reports of any injuries whatsoever. This may have been just a very fortunate event that uh, this explosion happened, and that has been confirmed. There was a, a bomb of some kind, an explosion that went off. But with no injuries to report, um, that is an excellent, excellent uh, outcome in all this. So the big question yet to be remained, as we've been trying to figure out, is who is this person under arrest? What was their motivation? And, and what led them to this point? As we've been saying, it sounds like, uh, and again, these are just preliminary sources that we're hearing in American media, that this gentleman was, uh, that this bomb went off prematurely. And, and, you know, it's a very, very cold day in New York City. A lot of people bundle up in big coats and big parkas, uh, you could probably hide a, a, a small bomb like that anywhere uh, on your person. So uh, much to be discovered. But the best news of all, it doesn't sound like we're hearing of any yet so far, any injuries. Right. And Andy, the fact that uh, multiple subway lines have been evacuated post this explosion, uh, that would have thrown uh, the suburban traffic completely out of gear, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a nightmare, and I, I, I you know, uh, uh, injuries aside, and we're very thankful for that, uh, it's going to be a nightmare day of a commute in New York City uh, with the Port Authority, uh, a bus station, Port Authority, uh, trains, uh, all of them uh, shut down, and for who knows how long, it's going to be a nightmare. Uh, so cab drivers will love this. They'll get lots of business today. But, uh, again, we just have to be thankful that uh, no injuries, reports of any injuries are coming out yet so far. Absolutely. So far, no reports of any person sustaining any injuries because of this explosion. Archit, these visuals are very telling. We see a huge presence of uh, the first responders in the New York City. We see a host of uh, police vehicles. We see ambulances. Uh, clearly, the authorities have been very prompt to respond to this uh, developing situation. Raghavendra, absolutely. Certainly, uh, you know, a lot going on in New York City uh, this morning. Right now, uh, more updates coming in from the New York Police Department. The police, again, saying one person is in custody, but at this point, not revealing a lot of details about this individual. Uh, so they are still questioning this suspect from what we can tell at this hour. Police also are not confirming what type of device was used after the incident at the Port Authority bus station. Witnesses also are telling us that in one of the city's shelters in and around that area by Times Square around 7.30 in the morning, that is when an explosion took place. A caseworker heard that explosion saying that it sounded like a huge boom and that's when people started running. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority, the MTA, the subway line saying that many of the trains in and around the 42nd Street area are skipping that station. In fact, seven trains, line one, line two, line three, lines A, C, E, N, Q, R, W, Many of these areas, trains underground, are skipping the 42nd station after this explosion. The explosion taking place at the Port Authority bus terminal near Times Square, which certainly is a busy area. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of tourists. It's also 8 o'clock in the morning, so it's heavy traffic as people are trying to make their way in and out of work in Midtown Manhattan. Uh, commuters also underground near the 40th Street and 8th Avenue started to flee after they heard uh, a loud and muffled sound. Uh, this was heard at that Port Authority subway station. And right now, as you can see, a huge presence of authorities and police presence there. Uh, quite a few police trucks. Trucks, ambulances, fire trucks, uh, the Port Authority, counterterrorism officials are trying to clear some of the uh, commuters from that bus station as well as the west side of 8th Avenue as the sirens are ringing. There are a lot of smoke uh, happening there. We don't know what type of device at this point. So a lot of unknowns at this point. What we don't know, the type of device that was used, how many individuals are in this attack, whether or not this was a lone wolf attack, whether this is a situation that was perhaps a, a pipe bomb that was being carried that accidentally went off, or if there was more 
more of a sinister motive. So all of those uh, questions is uh, police will try to hopefully investigate and find out. But the good news, if any at this point, is no uh, uh, injuries, no casualties from this explosion in New York City on a busy Monday morning. Indeed, Archit, and uh, these are live visuals we are getting from Manhattan, where an explosion has been reported. Preliminary reports suggest that no injuries have been sustained by any person in this explosion. The police have detained one suspect whose identity is still undisclosed. Multiple subway lines have been evacuated and trains are now bypassing Times Square and the Port Authority. Yeah, absolutely. And once again, we are looking at the main entrance to the Port Authority bus terminal that is over toward the left-hand portion of your screen. One thing uh, that we want to stress here, even though it may seem a little bit obvious, is that this time of day was clearly chosen uh, not at random. This was deliberate because at this time of the day, Port Authority is literally uh, full of people coming in from New Jersey, uh, going to other parts of the city. This is a major commuter hub through this area, and uh, definitely that was something that uh, this person uh, chose deliberately this time of day. We do have a, a slight update on some traffic information out here. Uh, B trains are now uh, suspended as well. And we're also hearing that buses from New Jersey are dropping passengers off at 40th and 10th. Now, we don't know exactly how long that's going to continue. Uh, we heard from Lauren a little bit earlier that there may be part of, a, of the Port Authority bus terminal has been reopened and maybe only the entrance to the subway. The subways there are maybe closed down, but we're still working on that. But in the meantime, time. Uh, like I said, we did hear some earlier information that buses uh, may be dropping uh, commuters from New Jersey, uh, passengers off at 40th and 10th. Also, 7th Avenue and 9th Avenue are shut down, 43rd Street. There may be some additional street closures shut down as well. We're still gathering details on all of that. You can see a lot of emergency activity, firefighters. Uh, we have ESU uh, police all kinds of emergency activity down here. So as that activity increases, we will see some additional road closures down here. Once again, as far as the uh, subways are concerned, this is a major hub, as I said, with the 1, 2, 3, N, Q, R, W, 7, A, C, and E, and now we're hearing the B line as well, all being affected by all of this. So you're definitely going to want to avoid this section of the city. We have seen a stream of emergency personnel going... Joining us on the broadcast is senior journalist Salim Rizvi. He's joining us from the United States. Mr. Rizvi, what's the latest update on this explosion that has happened in New York? Well, uh, the reports here are saying that uh, one man is in custody, in police custody, and uh, he's a suspect who is also said to be injured. And uh, reports are saying that uh, a pipe bomb, possible pipe bomb, was used, uh, which partially exploded. So uh, one person was injured, apart from the uh, suspect, uh, and police had uh, cordoned off the area. And uh, FBI and anti anti uh, terrorism units also are on the scene.